everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog i have not filmed a weekly vlog in i think around a couple of weeks now because as i'm filming this it was scott's birthday last week so i didn't vlog the weekly i just kind of vlogged his birthday and the farm stuff honestly amazing you know that vlog should already be up before this vlog anyway but yeah basically i am weekly vlogging again this week because i need to get back into the swing of things i have had quite a busy week with work and youtube like and obviously going away with scott for his birthday so i've kind of had a lot to do and i've been filming a lot of youtube videos with youtube honestly i am just in the full kind of habit of filming videos like almost every other day now which is great but yeah so basically i've been at scott's i've come back home because i'm working at 12 o'clock today so i'm just kind of getting ready i've just put some mascara on my eyelashes because honestly i need a lash lift also skin has cleared up massively at this spot it was kind of sticking out the other day but now it's died down because it's been using this which actually just it works a gem amazing but yeah basically i am going to be straight in my hair because you'll see straightened but i'm not going to put a full face makeup on because i've had makeup on for like the past four days in a row and it's not good for your skin either so i'm just kind of having a break from makeup but i, I did go into b and yesterday and i grabbed some fabulosa wipes because if you have never tried them these are the best wipes they never dry out they just smell amazing and yeah, they have a lot of moisture in them which means they're really good like for cleaning makeup products because i use these for cleaning like all my makeup I use on my clients because it can get a bit dirty sometimes and these are only one forty nine, and it's a massive pack I don't know how many you get 80 wipes which is really good and this is in the scent Electrify it smells like perfume I did have the rhubarb scent and they're really nice as well and I also got a new Dr Beckman because I'm pretty sure everyone has heard about this but if you haven't this is the best stuff for basically taking up any stains in your carpet and I think it was around 249 269 something for that price range and it is amazing because I have the cream carpets and I like to do makeup and stuff they do stain really easily I mean these carpets have been in since we moved in so like 15 years old now or even older probably so yeah, this has just kind of made them look a bit newer and so I actually use this on his car seats and it actually worked really well as well so i might actually try it on there but it says for home car and upholstery and it eliminates tough stairs and orders so yeah that's what i got from bnm i also got some chocolate for digestives 150 a massive pack of them honestly now they are my favorite biscuits ever but yeah i'm just gonna straighten my hair because i've woke up it's been really wavy this morning so i'm gonna do that and then have my lunch because it's actually in the oven. I'm having chicken and waffles because, you know, I love chicken. I also had a, a Zara order arrive on Saturday. So I've unpacked that. I'm keeping a few things. I'm kind of sending the most of it back. I ordered seven items, but I'm keeping three of them. So I'm keeping some pink mum jeans. Who would have thought I would wear mum jeans? Well, here's the moment I'm actually buying the mum jeans. I feel like my sister right now because she wears like mum jeans all sorts of cool fashion items i'm also keeping this kind of gingham lilac top and for these gingham shorts honestly i love everything i've got i am sending back a few tops and stuff because they were too big even though they were like in extra small i think i've got really small boobs i couldn't really fill the top which is annoying but yeah anyway my hair looks greasy but it isn't greasy it's just like all, all weird and wavy but yeah i'm gonna get started for work i'm, I'm gonna get started for work i'm gonna have to go in my uniform i hate wearing uniform like yeah. it just makes you look a rank i've just come back in from work guys and this parcel did arrive before i was going to work but basically i might be filming another designer video i do not know this is why i'm going to include this in the video but basically some Prada trainers arrived. Yeah, basically, I don't really have to order like anything myself. It doesn't make sense anymore off DHgate because I'm actually part of an affiliate account on DHgate, and that means I can basically select what I like. And if it gets approved by 
for this seller it'll send it over and then i'll have to make a video out for this that is why i do get sent like the designer stuff of dhk because on my youtube channel you know but yeah basically yeah, they've sent me some prada trainers i completely forgot i even selected these but yeah they're very chunky like i did get some new balenciaga triple s's as well which i will show you in a minute but basically here's a little bag it's quite cute you know a nice little silk bag here are the trainers so basically it in my thought process behind this was i've got the, the kind of nudie beige the prada bag and i've also got the little hat so i was kind of thinking an outfit but oh my god these trainers are like platform trainers i'm not even joking i will try them on and show you but yeah so there's the other one and this is like the little thing in there yeah it's quite cute they sell a lot of different types of trainers i'll never have to you know see them again how cute is that though that is really sweet but yeah so here it is i'm gonna try them on and see what they look like on me <laughs> Here are the trainers on. These are so chunky. Yeah, they don't go like if this outfit, but basically, you, you, because I'm really narrow, like footed, yeah, they are slightly big. I would have to adjust them. In my opinion, on these trainers, they're not actually too bad. Yeah, they're actually better than what I was expecting on. I think they're proud on the bottom. Yeah, they're doing pretty cool. I like them. Yeah, please remind me yeah, to leave a link in the description of these shoes if i don't uh, leave a comment or message me on instagram when you can get the link for them but yes now i'm going to show you the balenciagas because i got those the other day and i absolutely love my like the pink and black triple s trainers which i've had for around two years i mean they are looking pretty tight you know now but they've been washed a few times and the glue's kind of come away but yeah so I actually got some white ones and these are really kind of newer uh, triple s design if you know what i mean if you know you know basically like it's it is kind of clear one but these are so much heavier compared to my other ones in a size your three because it's better to downsize in these trainers the material is really good identical how cool are them this yeah so they're triple s's these are probably they have my favourite trainers from Balenciaga. Like, they are so nice. Like, look at them. And yeah, these will go with every outfit as well. I mean, yeah, these will as well, but I'm hoping they'll actually go with stuff. But yeah, these will, I know they will. Because, yeah, I wear the other ones all the time. But, yeah, so far, so good. But, anyway, I am going to have a snack because I'm actually starving. Like, I've been at work for five hours, so of course I'm going to need a snack and a drink. I think I've already made myself a drink, but I'm just going to have these. Honestly, having a full thing of biscuits for yourself is actually lethal. It's time to give my skin a bit of a cleanse, so I'm just going to be using the rest of my Mario Badescu antibacterial cleanser. Yeah, to be honest, I think I've only got a little drop of this, so I'm probably going to use it all up tonight. But yeah, it's becoming the time of the month so i'm starting to break out again so i'm going to use the mother false spin brush and then i'll catch you up when i am the toning and the moisturizing and everything else because that's like the more important steps obviously cleansing your face is very important but the next few steps are just as important i should say but yeah so i'm going to use this and you know, kind of work on my face for like a couple of minutes i literally look like an egg right now but basically i've cleansed my face I now need to add the pH back into my skin to basically even out the pH level because the cleansing your skin can remove the oils off your face and basically they make your face more I think it's alkaline I think like the pH is just kind of your natural kind of level I'm trying to find a word but I can't think of the word but yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna use my Garnier toner I only use like a tiny bit as you can see it, a little goes a long way and this basically just makes your skin kind of feel normal again like it doesn't it feel it doesn't it feels as if it's lacking any moisture or anything you know so that's kind of added it, it into the skin again it's just easy step then i come in with this gem so i shake it up first it's a 
Crichton's creatine cyclic acid serum is two percent cyclic. Yeah, it says anyway. So I'm just gonna pour it on my forehead, on both my cheeks, on my nose, on my chin, and all I'm doing here is easy as this. Just a bit in. You can always add it more into your skin if you're kind of having a kind of bad skin day like I am at the moment. All you need is a cleanser, a toner and a moisturiser. Literally. And five minutes out of your day is barely anything. Like, I understand people have busy their work schedules and they have children and stuff. And I understand I don't have children. I do work, but I have a lot of free time. But honestly, five minutes before you go to sleep, there's nothing better than actually having a lovely clean skin before you go to sleep. Because when... You go to sleep and like you've only used Garnier Meister to like cleanse and to take your makeup off with. Still feel as if you have a load of makeup on your face, but this way, even if you don't have any makeup on, it's important to cleanse your face every day. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm amazing at doing skincare every day, but I have got into the habit recently where I've got to cleanse my skin every day. Otherwise, I will not feel relaxed before I go to bed. It just becomes a habit in life, you know, but here we are. Good morning again, everyone. So I've been awake for like around nearly an hour now um, and I've had my breakfast, had a shower and stuff and I washed my hair, but I've stopped using conditioner because a lot of Instagram accounts who I follow, they basically said, yeah, that conditioner makes your hair more greasy because it is like a oil based product and like it gives you the illusion of making the ends of your hair feel soft yeah, but actually it's making it more greasy apparently anyway so i'm gonna try that for a few days and i'll let you know on this vlog if i remember of course but yeah so i don't have any conditioner in my hair and it does like it make my hair feel a bit drier but that's how my hair normally feels anyway like they're not like they're really dry i'd probably say more normal but yeah it doesn't it feels soft so i'll let you know and see it it's my hair you get greasy easier you're using no conditioner or less but yeah i mean i do get quite an oily scalp anyway so i don't know if i will admit i don't know if i will be able to notice much of a difference but who you knows to wait and see anyway i'm thinking of putting a bit of makeup on because i just feel a bit like i just want to look a bit more refresh this morning you know i'm just i'm starting to break out slightly i just want to kind of have a smooth base today so i am going to use my two first foundation i've actually gone off this foundation i think because i've been using the nars one and this is really high coverage whereas the two face is like a medium coverage so i'm just kind of not used to using like a medium one anymore i mean i don't get me wrong it is an amazing foundation but it's oil free but i think it's it's like it can kind of separate like on my oily nose and like my forehead a little bit but not drastically but i feel as if it does kind of go weird on my forehead a tiny bit but yeah it's just this one here the born this way i mean two face makeup is amazing but yeah if you know what i mean you'll know what i mean i'm cooking away so i've got some water and milk in here I do usually put some butter in, but I can't be bothered. So I'm just having one of these, the chicken mushroom flavour. It's the best one. I love the roast chicken one, but it's not, is it as nice as this? So, I'm just going to get an old wooden spoon. Because it's better. It's probably a good idea to put the heat on. Right, and I'm just going to pour this in. I'm so hungry. Oh, this smells so nice. Get all the excess powder out of it. Hey, that's done. I'm just going to stir it in. I'm doing this left-handed, by the way, but I'm trying my best. Oh, yeah. Also, one of our cupboard doors kind of fell. It didn't, like, fall off on its own, but basically, the screws in the hinges were kind of, like, breaking off and it's quite hard to repair so and now we have an an open the cupboard so you can basically see what's inside i mean it's easy accessible you know but it's a bit annoying 
I mean, to be honest, this kitchen has been in for in many years, so, you know, you're obviously expecting it to happen. Anyway, I'm just uh, stirring this, and I was going to do something else, but I've completely forgot what I was going to do now. Um, I actually have the worst memory ever, it's embarrassing, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to get like a little uh, bowl out when I have this, it's like the perfect dish for it. Oh yeah, it also has like a little bit of parsley in it and like it makes it, it look more appetising. I literally look so weird, but <laughs> I've curled my hair. I basically was watching Molly May's uh, Instagram story last night and basically she did a tutorial of how she curls her hair and how she curls her hair with like her own curling wand, but I don't have her curling wand, I just have a waver, so I'm just using my bobless one. Um, and then you'd kind of grab like the curl and when it was still hot on, onto my hand, it's actually burnt from that. And then you'd get a clipping kind of clip the curls in. I've not done it for all of the curls, only in the front ones because I only have four clips and I do have a lot of hair. Four clips would not hold up this hair because it is quite thick. So I've, I've just been curling my hair. So I'll probably take it out in like five minutes um, and you see how it, it looks. But I've just kind of curled the rest of my hair. I think I've still got to do a lot more bit and it'll be all done. But yeah. I love having curly hair. I was a bit bored. I just have a bit of free time before work. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do something to my hair, you know. But yes, I'm just watching Daffy Girl's uh, video now. Because it's always entertaining to watch. So yeah, but yeah, so I'm going to see how this goes. And hopefully it goes all right. It's time to take these out. So all I have to do is just unclip it. I'm just going to kiss my hair. It's going to get tangled. But I'm going to see how it looks. Oh my God, it's so tiny. I was not expecting it to be that short. <sighs> oh my god. I will have to brush it out, obviously. <laughs> but yeah. Wow, okay. Well, I think this kind of hack, if that's what you want to call it, actually does work. Um, I think if you want to have a longer lasting curls, oh my god. It actually does work so well. I am definitely going to be buying more clips. And <laughs> hopefully... This is the new way to curl my hair. Oh my god, it's so short. If I had short hair, I would really not suit having my hair that short. I think it would look like an old old woman. But yeah, let's just brush it out and see. Oh, okay. That's actually quite cool. I mean, oh my no. No, 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 no. I've got to go to work. Like, I'm going to have to, like, I don't even know what I'm going to have to do. Oh, my God. It makes my hair look so short. <gasps> I mean, I think I'm suit having short hair, but I've been like this short. Oh, my God. Look at, look at my hair, guys. It's so bouncy. But, yeah. What do you all think? <laughs> I'm definitely, I think I'm going to have to get the hairs out and try and style it properly. Because it's definitely a bit too much right now. Literally done my makeup. I've cleaned my brushes. Honestly, this eye look is like the perfect Valentine's Day eye look. I'm just going to show you if the light isn't too bad. But this is the eyes. Obsessed. If you want to see what products I use, make sure to follow Makeup Eyeless Home. It's like the makeup page because I do obviously work in the salon. But basically, Scott is going to be here in 10 minutes. I'm going to be going straight to town because he needs to pop into town for like a few bits, like putting money in the bank and, and have a look in a few shops. So we're going to go. It's such a lovely day today. Like it's been so rainy lately, but it's actually really nice and sunny. So it's given off really good lighting. But yeah, I'm really happy with his makeup and hopefully it will drum up some more business and stuff this i look obsessed with it like i think i do see like pinky reddy orangey eye looks i think it just bring out the green in my eyes but yeah i'm gonna have to sort my bag out i'm literally just gonna leave the house in this outfit because i really can't bother getting changed into anything else like you know what i'm saying so yeah also i use the Too Faced plumping gloss um i've never used it before up until now it is the lip injection your lip gloss in the shade the glossy and the bossy and oh my god compared to the uh soap and glory plumping glosses the, the two faced ones are so much more plumping they're like in my lips were almost hurting me because like they were that uh tingly 
they put in a good way obviously but if you're not a fan of tingly lip glosses then you'll definitely hate it. But the two first a lip injection anyway i'm kind of feeling this candle perfume it's a very it's a very uh, valentine's -y type perfume to be honest it's very sweet and just a nice smelling for valentine's i know that uh, valentine's isn't until next week but <laughs> yeah i highly recommend fellas or ladies get yourself your partner this scandal a paris intense unreal this what's here the most bought us there's some in the egg chocolate oh yeah, the sun is so bright they can have some please oh you're not eating it you like that are you i can't oh mm, hello in the chocolate is top tier oh you've got chocolate on my bed scotty i'll eat the crumbs <laughs> yeah literally in town in carlisle I'll, I'll explain so it's like a shopping center it, it's not really like a massive shopping center it's like it's called the delays and basically it used to be a lot of late lanes back in the olden days full of shops that's why it's been made into a shopping center that's why it's called the lanes because it used to be all like the shops like the lanes and it converted it into like a shopping center so not down like the old buildings i'm being serious i'm not even making that up you can google it and basically it was a power cut and like a lot of the shops are closed so i mean if we weren't it bothered really the primark was still open though typical primark would still be open but yeah basically like a lot of the shops are closed because like i have a power cut um in scotland needs the banking in wilco's anyway if it's not for stuff you've got some rollers for a bacon bits but yeah we're gonna get this we're gonna go to mcdonald's at like half four because bonnie is going to work so like after that then we're gonna go to mcdonald's for tea um should we sit in? Oh yeah. I was really thinking of filming a video but I don't I can't be bothered. And like a like a McDonald's mukbang video in the car or not. No? Nah, I won't do that. I won't another time. But yeah. Enjoy this. Yeah. Have an early two. And then chill. Is that right? <laughs> so here's today's makeup look. I've gone for like an orangey silvery eye look and honestly obsessed with it i feel as if orange is a really good color but anyway i am now going to be filming a youtube video i am trying to be as productive as i can because you know when i'm off work i want to always be working i feel motivated because this year is really going to be my year for youtube um i'm definitely gonna put my all into it obviously like the makeup business i am still putting my all into it but youtube i really want to keep progressing with my channel and everything so that is what i'm gonna do but yeah i really like my eyebrows today i've kind of made them longer and and slightly thicker but more th feathered and i love them so much so yeah i'm happy with that but yeah anyway i am we're now going to post the makeup look on instagram again honestly such on a roll with the makeup page now but yeah i just love wearing makeup it makes me feel more confident anyway so yeah i'm very happy anyone guess what the video i'm filming you need to guess this down below yeah I've, i'm also wearing this top again because i love it scott's mum actually got me this for christmas i think and i love it so much also i can't get over my eye makeup it's so good i actually posted a photo of like a picture of a makeup from two years ago uh, comparing it it's now and oh my god i've like my makeup style has changed a lot but yeah I'm doing all this but after the video i am going to clean my room because <laughs> it's definitely going to need to get it cleaned up that's the only thing about the wearing makeup and you know, when you're a makeup artist you go through a lot of <laughs> the makeup the brush cleaner and the cleaner products because yeah it was getting very messy but i did actually use the james charles palette i think i got this for like 10 pounds or something in the morphe shop after the scandal unleash you're in an artist i'm just used yeah, these two colors here and a tiny bit of that obsessed it's an amazing palette and it's also magnetic as well so like it's it's quite hard to open just with one hand um but yeah it's such a lovely palette finished filming i have in my primark with suit on i have been filming an outfit video but yeah it's a gorgeous color it's six pounds of primark highly recommend but yeah 
and now I'm just gonna like the tidy up FaceTime Scott. I've not actually spoke to Scott like properly today. I only phoned him for like a little bit, but yeah, so I I'm gonna tidy up. I think I am gonna clean my room tomorrow, maybe. Because I don't know, like when it gets to like four o'clock, I just start to feel like oh I want to kinda of chill now and everything. But then again, like you once I clean my room, I know that I'll feel better for doing it, so I think whilst I'm still like in a motivational mood, I am gonna clean my room. I'm just gonna get a change out of this like evil bodysuit first and get a change into the other thing I was in before. But yeah. I've also had a message from a girl about I've been posted on a bay out um Instagram page. I've tried to look for it. I don't know if I've been blocked, so I've asked her for the account name, so hopefully she'll reply soon. I'm guessing it's like a bullying Instagram page because some people are very weird in their little mind and think that because yeah, they're behind a screen that they won't get found out. But trust me, I know certain people who would do it and it's easy to find out. <laughs> so if you're ever thinking of making a bullying account or like a fake account or just you're trying to bully anybody, you will get found out because it is a lot easier to be able to track who's behind the accounts and stuff like it's happened a few times with me i, I don't know like obviously if for example with molly may it, it'll be like on a larger spectrum but why why would you want to like gossip about someone online and i just i, I don't know I've, i suppose I'll never understand why people would think of doing it, but you know, I'm just, I'm just being me. I'm just I I enjoying my life, not really taking any attention of what's happening on the kind of the weird side of social media, because you know, it's it is not going to affect me, you know. So I am going to report the account. I will get it taken down, you know. And if you have been bullied before, like online or anything, or you are being bullied at the moment. Feel free to give me a message on alice.holmes underscore. You know, there's always going to be jealous people about, there's always going to be very weird people who think they can be keyboard warriors and think they've got the power to be able to destroy someone, which I find very odd. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get on with my life <laughs> and I'm I'm going to do something very exciting, clean my room, you know, I feel motivated, you know, I'm very happy at the moment. I don't have a lot going on in my life. I'm so excited for like the spring and summer months now because I think I've like I filmed like a spring and summer video. But yeah, anyway, that's that. Yeah. They mind your own business next time, kids or adults, you know, whoever you are. You get on with your life and I'll get on with mine. Yeah. Peace out. The carpet's all hoovered. I used the one double zero one. Now what do you call this? The one double zero one or the one the double one. No, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going about. But anyway, it's carpet fresh, uh, like spray. I spray it on my carpets before I hoover up. And oh my god, it, it makes your carpet smell so nice. It's the the Thai orchard and the passion fruit scent, and this one is also pet friendly. I do have you know, the other two scents as well. I've actually got the cotton one, which is really nice and a uh, nice smelling. But I've got the passion fruit. I've got the grapefruit one, but I'm not really keen on it. It gives me like a bit of a bad head. It's not all too smelly nice. I'm gonna, it's gonna it's from Rose and Palm Violet spray. It's Scott got me this for. Uh, Christmas the year before last and it actually was a pound violet if you love pound violet you'll love this hey everyone it is now Saturday no Friday I keep thinking it's Saturday because it feels like the weekend but, but basically I've been at work this morning it's been it, it really quiet I only had the one person in it, it, this week is just a dead week for me this week but you know if anyway I am actually going out for lunch with my mum and my auntie you never really see like just one auntie on the own because I do have like a really big family 
on my mum's side and people are usually doing things but yeah it's gonna be nice to actually see people like my auntie and stuff and actually go out for lunch so i'm all packed i'm just wearing with this top again because i can all my black pants i've got my handbag all packed and stuff i'm not really taking anything with me i'm gonna be getting some candles from tk maxx though because i need some candles um also this watch is really rubbing on me i think i'm gonna take it off because it's actually really rubbing on my wrist i don't like it i feel really comfortable when i wear this jacket but yeah this is my outfit for today going out for lunch i don't know where we're going seriously don't know where we're going but we're going somewhere anyway um, I need to remember to bring a bag with me because if I'm going to do some shopping, I need a like like a carrier bag type thing. So I'll have to bring this little New York one. Easy as that. Now home for four hours later. I went out for lunch with my auntie and my mum, and it basically went to like a place called Celebrations in Carlisle. If you're from Carlisle, you know where I mean. But it basically sells like really nice food, and it also sells like your gifts and in cards and stuff that's why it's called celebrations but this is the first time i have ever been honestly unreal but anyway i did go into primark super drug and home bargains and also tk maxx and i got a few bits i'm gonna film uh, a kind of little shopping haul but i'll show you like a few things i've got um so basically if you follow like Erin Boyer, oh my god, this is like, it really gives me a bad light on my face, yeah. If you follow like Erin Boyer, Holly Bennett and all that, they basically rave about you know, the super drug sprays. Now, I have been wanting to like get the Olympia perfume, but I wanted to kind of have a tester of it before I decided to get it basically. And these body sprays from super drug uh, perfume tubes so i did actually smell the bloom the one i think it's called and it smells of alien but it does actually smell nice on the skin actually but it's not as it's actually as nice as the olympia tube which is called exotic so this is actually 265 i think it's like a third off it or something but it smells so nice like i've already sprayed some of my body already and obviously like it's a body spray they do actually sell the perfume version of these for five pounds which i actually tested on my wrist and now they actually do smell really nice but oh my god this smells of olympia and it's so good so that's what i got from super drug i also got a couple of candles one from whole bargains and one from tk maxx so firstly from tk maxx i needed some candles for the salon because i use them for facials and massage and they do burn really quickly so Firstly, relaxing lavender. It smells beautiful. Oh, that's mm. nice. Yeah, but they're a bit baggy, aren't they? Um. I mean, I'm saying to ban the dead comfy. They don't look like the baggies in like the hanging off here. No. Sorry, guys. Mum came in because she tried one on her YouTube set. You just saw it, hopefully. But yeah, basically, I need some new candles for the salon. So TK Maxx always sell really nice kind of higher end candles like and they're always a really good price so i got this the dw horn relaxing the lavender candle because i actually have a dw horn the lavender and, ca and chamomile candle and they did have some of those but it just smelt a really different it's the one that I, I had so i don't know if they changed the scent or something but i decided to go for like the lavender one because it did smell a lot nicer Plus, if you burn, you really nice because there's two wicks in them, so that was eight ninety nine. Then I also got from Home Bargains a rhubarb candle because these Wickford and Co candles from Home Bargains, firstly two ninety nine for like a massive thing. In ninety five hours burning, no, in ninety five hours of burning time, like I have a gingerbread candle from Christmas and it's still halfway there, like it's so good it does take a while to burn but this candle actually smells really nice and i was trying to find a vanilla candle but it just it wasn't any vanilla candles anywhere but this smells of like those horrible rhubarb sweets but like nicer than that if you know what i mean you know what i mean and then i'm not going to show you everything i've got from primark but i basically went in for cotton pads and 
they might sell a water I, I did get them but i got these boots in the sale for three pounds they're meant to be eight pounds but actually they went to four pounds they were three pounds so i was like whoa okay so i got them i also got like a little gym set a top and underwear set for four pounds actually i'll show you that actually it, it was a pound it's going to be a fiver and it's really nice in my size a pound like look at that chuffed to bits so yeah that's what i bought makeup is done and i put my hair in pink curls because it just it makes it easier curling it this way and plus you know i take it out it'll last longer so the has got us actually turned off pieces parked like around the corner so it's taken a while so i'm guessing maybe we've got some flowers or something or he surprised me with something because he's he's been out there for five minutes now which is a long time to like get out of your car and get your stuff like he doesn't have anything to take out of the car unless he's on the phone to someone but it's taken a while but yeah i've done my makeup i've been using cream contour myself and i definitely think it makes a change how your makeup goes on i really like it and i've also gone for like a pinky brownie eye look on the eyes so i'm i'm hopefully going to take photos of this look if i can for my makeup page because like i'm going out in 40 minutes to go out and pick my grandma up so i've got to do my hair like you take out and, and brush it out if like the special brushes i use um and then yeah you're ready to go Taste test, got chicken shot. Best Indian. This is all our food. I got a chicken tikka masala. Look how red that is. Got hot food. Nice. The mushroom and pea rice and on bread. Happy? <laughs> Just at Scott's bacon area, there's his kitchen over there. And basically, he's given me these for Valentine's Day because obviously, like, he's been making biscuits and stuff. Like, how cute is that? Like, I didn't believe him when he gave me them because, like, he usually jokes saying that the man and then, like, the fur customer, but they're actually mine, so I'm gonna have one for, for breakfast now. But yeah, I'm just doing my makeup as well because we're going out for lunch soon. But yeah, thank you very much, Scott, and definitely follow KQ Career on Instagram. I love them so much they are so cute do you use got for me oh <gasps> thank you we can put them on the floor for me please oh my careful. god they're so you have to pretty. hold them yeah i'll hold them put the ribbon on it oh that's so cute you've got like binoculars and roses <gasps> and all kinds of nice little things oh thank you <laughs> oh thank you thank you, Thank you. okay thank you very much oh Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. So, I've done my makeup for work. The one eye is smudged really badly, and then the little eye, I just went really well. But basically, if in each of the, our cards, he got me this one. It says, Look, like I was right about you. And then, like, I swipe him right because of Tinder and stuff. That's how we met. Yeah, it, it, it is really cute. Yeah, it <laughs> works. It does work. Tinder. It does. People may have some horror stories, but. We, had a good we have another <laughs> <laughs> story. Oh. But anyway, I am going to end this vlog here because it's obviously the end of this weekly vlog now. And I might be starting another weekly vlog. I don't know. My hands are also awful still, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, but, I know. but if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone. See you later.